All right. Today, Joe Biden announced he was going to use the full force of the federal government to mandate that all companies with 100 plus employees force their workers to be vaccinated or subject them to weekly tests for COVID-19. I just got off the phone with our lawyers, and I just want to reiterate something that I already said today on Twitter. No. The Daily Wire does have more than 100 employees, but we won't be enforcing Joe Biden's unconstitutional and tyrannical vaccine mandate. That's it. We'll use every tool at our disposal, including legal action, to resist. Biden's ultimatum will impact over 80 million private sector workers. Companies that refuse to comply will face up to $14,000 in fines for every single violation. So I'm sure most companies will probably just do it. They don't have much choice. We won't. It's not that we're anti-vaccine. I'm personally very pro-vaccine. I think the COVID vaccines are probably the greatest scientific achievement so far in the 21st century. And I think the speed at which they were created may be Trump's greatest achievement as president. They seem to do a pretty good job preventing hospitalization and a great job preventing death from COVID-19. That's terrific. If I were a dictator, I'd probably make you get it. But I'm not a dictator, and neither is Joe Biden. He has no right to impose this burden on American businesses. How are we supposed to pay for it? What are we going to do with all these new liabilities that we incur from injecting ourselves into the private health decisions of our employees? More to the point, he has no right to impose this burden on the American people. It's anti-science and it's totalitarian and we cannot comply with it. I say anti-science because the mandate contains no exceptions for those in low-risk demographic groups. There's no exceptions for those with natural immunity. Also, there's no taking into account the fact that these vaccines are pretty effective. So if you're vaccinated, congratulations. You're at low risk from COVID-19, whether your neighbor's vaccinated or not. And that's good news, since your vaccinated neighbor can still transmit the damn disease. And I say it's tyrannical, because using unelected bureaucratic machinery like OSHA to force small businesses into becoming the vaccine and testing enforcement arm of the federal government is definitionally anti-democratic. It marks a dramatic break with our constitutional order. According to Reuters, 75% of American adults are already vaccinated. At least they've already received one dose of the vaccine. And 53%, according to the CDC, are fully vaccinated. So people who want the COVID vaccine already have it. And those who don't want it shouldn't have to get it because it's a free country. It's not your job to protect me from me. And you already have the tools to protect yourself from me. So Joe Biden has no compelling reason to encroach on our liberties, other than he just doesn't like what we do with them. Well, guess what? Joe Biden isn't your mom. The government isn't your mom, and your employer sure as hell isn't your mom. We've already watched for over a year and a half as Americans have ceded liberty after liberty to wannabe tyrants like Anthony Fauci. They broke our economy. They locked us in our homes. They destroyed our supply chains. They crushed our small businesses. They massed our children. Enough. That is enough. So the answer is no. No, the Daily Wire won't be enforcing Joe Biden's petty tyranny. We've already retained legal counsel, and we're prepared to go to battle with this administration to put an end to their unconstitutional bullshit. We hope other people and other businesses will join us. If they do, great. If they don't, that's fine too. There's got to be a line, and for us, this is it. So Joe, hard pass.